All right, next part of this video, or next part of this series, is to uh, go ahead and check the valve clearance. So to do that, what we'll need is we'll need a 10 millimeter uh, socket with extension and a ratchet. And we will need a feeler gauge, 0 0.006 uh, inches or 15 millimeters. You will also need a 10 millimeter uh, wrench. And so what we're gonna do is I'm going to set the camera up in the best spot that I can find and we'll check the valve clearance. All right, so I have determined that there is no good place to put um, the camera to get the shot that I wanna get. So what we're gonna do 10 millimeter bolts Hold on this valve cover. Go ahead and take them off. Gotta get around the fuel lines on this side of the engine. Valve cover should come off pretty easily. This is something you should actually do um, on a pretty regular basis. Uh, I'm looking to see here if it's actually on the um, maintenance list for the machine underneath the hood. But it doesn't, uh, doesn't say anything about it that I can see real quick. Um, basically, just pull off the valve cover. Now what we're going to have to do once we pull off the valve cover is we're going to have to determine where top dead center is. And I'll have to move the camera with that. All right, so set those aside for just a second. And then theoretically, normally these just kind of pop right off. Be sure not to tear the gasket because you don't want to tear the gasket because then you'll need to get a new one. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is determine where top dead center is. Now, I'm going to see if I can do this all at the same time. So down in there, you can see where my flashlight is at. You can see the pickup for the ignition. So what I'm going to do, and I think I'm not gonna be able to do this. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna to have to show you when I'm done uh, actually, I'll go show you on the other side. So on this side, you can clearly see it. Uh, there is, actually it's top dead center right now on this side. You can see the magnet under there. The magnet is right here. This is the pickup. And that's what we're aiming to do on the other side. So I'm gonna get it to top dead center. I'll just set you up and uh, let you kind of chill out while I do that so you can see that it's not necessarily a hard process. I just requires more hands than I have. Can't remember which way the engine goes. Sorry. Okay. So the engine goes this way. Nice thing is with the gas engines, you can turn them over by hand. So the magnet is now underneath the pickup. And so we are at top dead center. And so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our fuel gauge we're going to slide in between the rocker arm and the valve. That one's not bad. This one's not either. Now in fairness, I was hoping to show you how to adjust them, but uh, both of these are okay. I think this one's maybe a little loose, so we'll go ahead and adjust this. Because honestly, I've already done the other side. Um, because I wanted to make sure I had the procedure down before I put it on video. Uh, so I've already done the other side on this machine, 
But what, how, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and adjust this one right here because it's a little loose. So to do that, this is the locking nut right here. And this is the adjustment bolt right there. So we're gonna go ahead and undo the locking nut. And you can adjust it in or out. I mean, you can see the, hopefully you can see the valve rocker arm move there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and keep sliding our feeler gauge back and forth. And about right there is where it should be. And we'll go ahead and keep our wrench where it's at. And we'll go ahead and tighten our lock nut down. And probably gonna be too tight, which it is. Um, I know that normally happens. So you're just gonna have to try a couple times. Always go back and check. That's much better. Nice and tight. So now we can see, we're, we're actually gonna go ahead and uh, put the valve cover back on. Now, obviously if both of them were out, I would expect that both of them to be out. Both of them were a little loose on the far uh, far side that I've already done. Um, like I said, I'm sorry, I didn't, didn't video that. I wanted to have the procedure down uh, before I put it on video. Uh, plus, it kind of slows me down. I probably should have done the other side because it has a little bit more access and you're not having to deal with everything in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the uh, valve cover back on. And what I do is I go ahead and put two bolts through that holds a gasket in place. Put the other bolts on. Like that. and tighten them down. I'm sorry about the shadows. I'm doing this late at night after dark because I want to get this done. And hopefully now that I've adjusted that far side and I have adjusted this side, the one on this side that was a little loose, hopefully it runs better. That's the goal at least. If it doesn't run better, then we've got some other problems. Dirty injectors or something along those lines. Because the problem we're having is this machine just does not like to... Uh, does not like to idle really well. Alright, let's work, try to see if we can get it to crack. Alright. Got the valve covers back on, and so let's see if it runs any better. Nope. Nope, doesn't run any better. So wasn't the valve covers, or I mean, wasn't the valve clearance. So that means that we're going to have to keep looking at it and uh, figure out what might be causing the issue. Uh, we have already ruled out the injection control module since I had a spare one of those. I actually have a spare uh, air pressure sensor. So maybe that's what we're gonna be switching next. Now, if you can find the uh, manual for one of these engines online, it will give you the test procedures for everything. Uh, highly worth it. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and test the resistance on the uh, injectors, other, other, other things, um, things along those lines. So that will be in upcoming videos. See if we can get it running better. So thanks for watching.